Krishna. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So, why an object oriented language called C sharp.net is support a concept called structure? So, why uh, why this is called it? It supports uh, a structure based culture or whatever. Uh, but, like, C sharp is a lightweight version of classes. Uh, like, it will create a large array of objects and it will not consume much memory. So everyone have knowledge on object, like uh, why, why the class have the object, right? To call a class, the object is created to have, uh, to have that uh, like minimal uh, time duration, like you created a class, how, how you will call that? You, you call the entire functionality of that class with a single variable creation, that is object which we call as the blueprint of the class. Uh, so let, uh, like, like I'm just telling for your knowledge, next we are going to for the OOPS concept after telling about the operators, which is type of and size of. Uh, just for minimum knowledge, I told about the objects in between this one. So, okay, uh, have got minimum idea about objects. I think everyone uh, know at least a class and object, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we have two operators uh, in csharp.net. The uh, one is type of and the other is size of or the operators. Type of will return the base type of the given uh, type data type and size of will uh, will give the uh, size of the given data type. So let me uh, let me give you an example and tell it and some uh, like we have implicit type variables uh, uh, like these are introduced in .NET 3.0 version. So in case of implicit variables, the data types will decide uh, how these are being uh, indicated. Like for example, uh, we have like a var variable name and uh, value. Let me write the example in the notepad and Explain. One second. First, I'll write the example for uh, type of and size of how these operators are seen and how these are being used. Okay. Yeah. If anyone asks uh, how many operators are there in three shop, there are two. One is type of and one is size of.
yesterday whoever i have attended the data type uh, class will understand why this uh, has come the in the output system dot single yeah yeah please write it down so these uh, writing yeah yeah you can go ahead. yeah we are writing and you can go okay so here we mentioned here we have mentioned it uh, to the clearly to the system that the type of int we are giving type of float we are giving type of boolean size of int we are giving size of double we have given so it we directly telling it uh, uh, like it doesn't need the stress right so if what if uh, if we give int a equals to 10 and uh, can we use this no we cannot use this then we have the get get type so we use at that time get type if we give directly this boolean int uh, like this then we use these operators if we want if we want the same one giving with uh, like uh, example like int a, int a equals to equals to 10 so it is explicitly tell, uh, told that the int 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 a equals to 10 so you are telling that that a is having the integer value so again, say similarly, if you write a variable uh, where b equals to 20, so you are telling that variable containing the integer, but you are not, uh, but you are not telling it directly. So at that time, uh, if you want to, if you want to represent the same way, the type of, we go with a dot get type. So you are not sure what type it is. So you are telling. Uh, go and uh, tell me what type it is. So you are telling get type when when you when you are not aware of what uh, value like system is not aware of. I mean system is not of what type of value it's going to be represented. Let me uh, give the example for you. Like this has come. So this type of variable has been introduced in version 3.0. Yeah. So you are giving this, uh, when you'll give this the variable, when you, when there is a chance of converting that data type which you initial, initialized during the program, or when when you ever you have it to have a multiple usage instead of int you want to convert that data type inside the program 
and want to reuse the same variable, then you will give as var. If you are sure that it is int to be go through all over the program inside, then you will give it as int, right? So at this time, we have the get type. So var, var supports only numericals or uh, strings too? String also. String also, anything? Yes. Okay. I'm giving like two. Okay. Hello. Please um, write it down. I'll give you a hello. minute. Uh, yeah, tell me. Okay. Yeah, can you can you run in uh, in the software, please? Uh, yes, the we'll small one. Yeah. After uh, after uh, like uh, two topics which I planned for today. We'll okay. Run okay. It. Okay, th thank you. Completed. Yeah, one second. So whatever topics I'm telling, I'm also giving the examples, right? So yesterday I have given some data type examples and uh, I was telling how to print the base type and all yeah. this. Uh, you can also uh, try in the meanwhile uh, taking a program and try 
trying to enter that those examples simply those examples change a little bit and try for uh, writing uh, inside the console dot write line there's no logic right just uh, just printing out we can also do today we'll do So yesterday the data types uh, are classified into five. So what are those called as? Numerical, floating, character, uh, logical, and the general. Like in C sharp dot net, what type of data types it is said to be? Signed and unsigned. Primitive data types, no? Oh, sir. Yeah, primitive. There is no non-primitive and only we have primitive. Yeah. So yeah. according to the data storage location, c .net data types are classified into uh, two types. One is value type and the next is the reference types. So we'll discuss what is value types, what is reference types. So I have a quick doubt here. In this example, we gave where a equals to 10, right? So in the output, uh, there is no usage of a. So how what's the use of using a here? In the output? So we gave here where a equals to 10, right? So then yeah. in the next line, we gave console dot right line a dot get type. So um, what does it mean? Why do we use A and uh, the output is uh, just the we best? Are, we are asking which type it is. Okay. <laughs> we are asking the type of uh, PLR. Get me this type. We, because it is notated with a uh, variable, right? Where, okay. Uh, so it's uh, like an object it's taking. Uh, we're not... Uh, uh, determine a data type, specified any data type there. So yeah, we are asking okay. the get what, type. If uh, we don't assign any value to A here, if suppose A equals to zero, or if uh, A equals to... A equals to zero is also an int, system dot int. Uh, 32. 32. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. So everyone written? Yeah. Okay. So value types and reference types. According to the data storage location, C sharp data types are classified into value types and data types. So what is um, one second. value types are, uh, are two. One is structure and the other is enum enumerator and reference type uh, is you are you are not directly notating uh, you are referring to like as we discussed class object interface delegate all these are reference type so data which will be storing in stack memory is a value type data which is storing in heap memory is the reference type Okay. A value type data, according to the data storage, value types are stored in stack memory. And reference type, reference type will go with always addressing, right? It will not directly show the value. So it is, uh, data will be stored in heap memory. So according to this, the values of the structure will be stored in stack memory. So uh, enumerator is also like you go with the keyword e -N -U -M, enum, enumerator, and uh, indicates the, we'll discuss enumerator next. It will come up. 
value type. Tag memory. So uh, when it comes to the uh, like value type, so it will contain the actual data. So there is no addressing or creation of an variable or an object like that. So when it comes to the reference type, it will uh, it will contain the address of the data. So that is the reason uh, there is a concept called uh, class and object creations for an interface and delegate will be formed. So in primitive data types, value types are, um, what are the value types? Int, float, care, boolean, like one, two, three, four categories uh, comes under uh, stack, right? It, we are directly telling it is int, it is a boolean, it is a double, it is a float. We are directly telling uh, so-and-so value is there, so-and-so storage has to be done. So in primitive data types, one, two, three, four categories, are uh, comes under value types, which is stored actual data, which is stack, uh, which is stored in stack. In primitive data types, the fifth one category that is general data type, which is string and object that are to be stored with uh, respect to the class, and that are uh, string and object are stored in a addressing way, so it is stored with a reference type. Okay. Yeah. So here, uh, you uh, value type, value type, uh, yesterday we have seen value type example. Value type examples means uh, nothing but or the four categories, one, two, three, four, yesterday in primitive data types. Uh, we we cannot give, uh, we gave zero, we gave one, we gave two, we gave decimals, we gave care, uh, not strings, care, and we, we gave Boolean, but we never gave a null, N-U-L-L, -L, writing null. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it will give an error. So the value type variable, it should be an actual data. You cannot say int a equals to null null in the program. So we cannot assign a null value into the value type variable. The reference type by default it will it is a nullable value nullable uh, type only because you are addressing the data first when you call an uh, object and that addresses to the class, it initially uh, taken uh, null, uh, like stored as a null. Once it is called to an uh, class, it will be given with some value. So you can write 
uh, string s equals to null, n u l l null, and it will be varied. No error will be thrown. So uh, here, uh, you know, people are writing under the notepad. The example, like one, two, three categories, comes here. I'll give you some examples because uh, telling right uh, see mainly writing notes here uh, is like if you miss a sentence I don't mind you can find it in Google but the examples you know if you open uh, you can ask Google it will also show but uh, it will show 10 and you'll be confused which one is correct because this is the initial state you are still seeing it will be confused for you
can you scroll up upside a little bit thank you Yeah, completed. Hello. Yeah. So I was in mute and I was talking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this has the error we come across uh, when before 2.0. Assigning, we are telling int a equals to null. We are telling this mm -hmm. int, int actual value of a is uh, some uh, integer you are telling and giving null it's throwing an error. So, so we have decided like uh, one class, it will use the integer five and the logic changes and the same integer uh, variable, uh, like variable you are considering and want to print or take the value as a 10 or 20 or something. So in every class, we don't go ahead and give that memory loss uh, uh, for the compiler. Every time in TA is so and so int uh, like like that again creating one more variable. So they have come across uh, to avoid this kind of errors for the all one two three four, uh, which are having a value type which are facing an actual data. So they want to even change the data. So how that notation will be there so that the compiler can take it seems. It is like value type. You can mention your value type that is one, two, three, four in primitive data type and giving the question mark and then writing your variable name, whatever you want to give for that particular uh, data type and equals to null, then it will be valid. So uh, this, this, uh, this syntax has been predefined and considered by the Microsoft. It will be valid and be taken.
null will be taken by the value type. Means actual data can be null. Only when it is declared in this format. So in the in the real world scenario, um, can you tell us a use case where we use this nullable values? In uh, real world scenarios, uh, like for example, um, you uh, you want to uh, you have the student ID and uh, all the student ID should have some values. But when you go ahead and uh, you say uh, some person is uh, not uh, not attending the uh, means absent case. So they, they can attend the exam, but they are not sure of attending at this, uh, this, uh, this low, like uh, this May. They may attend in July or August for the examination. You are giving for the summary of all who are passed and who are not passed. Uh, at that time, you are, uh, you are giving a null value, which indicates it to be, uh, can be changed later on like you once after writing the exam in july he'll secure certain marks and the certificate will be given uh, like differently like whatever he passed away with the exams yeah so yeah. you are changing the value of that student which has given with a particular subject right so yeah. at that kind of cases you can uh, uh, denote in this way yeah yeah got it okay So again, you don't go and change uh, that person, uh, whatever has been declared for him, the uh, declaration variables, right? The same variables will be there, but it will be changed. Yeah. So what are local variables? Next topic. Do you know about uh, what is local variable? No. I think the ones which are uh, declared within the memory. Yes. Yeah. So a variable which is declared inside the method is said to be a local variable. Local variable should be initialized with some value before uh, accessing, like, um, uh, like say like, uh, if you are using a, if you are using a method and uh, if a method like say method, uh, Method name say student, student a method. So student, inside the student method, uh, you are giving uh, some student ID and uh, student mark list or student uh, attendance like this all. So you have to give some uh, variable for that, right? You if, if you want to declare, if you go and uh, give it at the uh, other class, a variable should be declared, then uh, you can call that method uh, at the main method. So without defining a variable inside a method, uh, how you can call, how you can address it, you cannot do, right? So that way yeah. uh, I'm telling the example how the local variables functionality will happen. Yeah, okay. So I'm just uh, telling it orally. It's not a topic. So not writing down. I have written previously notes. Yeah, we finished all of them. Okay.
Now we'll. <coughs> Um, yesterday we have discussed data data types, and um, if you accept, uh, and today this one. So I want everyone to open their Visual Studio. Hi, ma'am. I am still unable to set up my .NET SDK path in Visual Studio. Your name? Surya. Uh, let's continue for the class, but uh, end of the class, I would take your help and sort it out. I tried okay. installing it, but still, I don't know. It says permission they need. Oh. Let's see at the end of the class. Yeah, yeah. Anyone want to share their screen and want to uh, show the old program and want to type as uh, as as whatever I say so that it one to one step can be explained can be shared screen to everyone. Yeah. So sure. what we have told about console dot read line. The console dot read line is something the input uh, that it is accepted from the end user like whatever the terminal how we can want to see uh, to accept it that way console dot read line is used so console dot read line is also used to take the uh, user data like you are the user so in the terminal in the terminal way uh you want to like uh, you want to type like enter console dot right line will print whatever we have given so what if from the terminal you are entering the value and it should be taken terminal should take that value yeah i think we can use console dot read line yes we have to use console dot read line. So yeah. we'll just discuss a small uh, program. Just open the previous program, whatever you have done. And one person, if they share the screen, one to one line, I am tell. I will tell. Uh, you just write it down. I'm trying to share my screen, but it's it's saying it is saying like uh, participant is uh, denied from sharing the screen. I do not deny anyone. I think the internal settings okay. might have. Let me try once again. Yeah, it says the same. 
most disabled participant to screen sharing. Um, yeah, make him a uh, co-host, then he can. Make? Make him co-host. Okay. Who is that person? I share yeah, the this, this is uh, me. Please, Akil. Akil, uh, make a kill as a co-host. Okay. Oh, oh, one second, like one Make co-host, okay. Akil, can you share the screen? Yeah, yeah, one second. Yeah, can you uh, see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So now we have the string your uh, string A you are printing. Okay, the, uh, take yeah. out that uh, uh, remove all the other one. Uh, it will be confused for that. Remove B H I J. Okay. No, I'm telling a total sentence. Total yeah. line. Yeah. Console dot right line also remove those all. Okay. Yeah. So. Console dot right line, write the next line. Console dot right line. Yeah. Inside inside that right right line, uh, enter your name. Okay. Enter your name. Yeah. I am telling the sentence, <laughs> not your name. Okay, okay. It should print. So it is a terminal now read line will function. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you gave double quotation because yeah. it is string, string. right? String. Yeah. Now string S equals to down. Now, yeah, write it down there. String, string S equals to. Console dot read line. Console dot. Yeah. So the next line. Console dot right line. Your name is. Now you are plus plus s after double quotation yeah plus s close that close that line semicolon yeah. next console dot read line closer remove that string a equals to akil So whenever we want to um, 
we want we want to accept the value the string the string s you have notated and you are uh, you want that uh, output to see like your name is akil yes yeah, yeah or whatever the value you want to give it should take so first yeah. line it will print enter your name second yeah. it will show whatever the uh, thing you have given and this concatenation plus is there right so yeah. this uh, this will do the read line will do uh, first one it will print as it is whatever you have given right line inside the second yeah. whatever you write that it will concatenate with this uh, string s yeah, now run uh, run it and let's see Yeah. This okay. is it. Uh, yeah. So this how the read line will work. Okay. I'll give one more program. Yeah. Right. You want to erase this or keep it? Like that. You can just alter it. It's a small one. Like you shared now the screen. Huh? Next time, uh, this program don't share. Everyone take uh, the simple thing similar way. Okay. I'm just telling you, uh, uh, write a console program. Okay. Homework kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, just like homework? Or... If you can try, uh, like everyone we can try right now. No? Yeah, yeah. Or that's yeah, I don't so. want to try right now the this kind of program one more. I'm we just shown right. Uh, so or uh, next year uh, topic you want to go. How many say want to try? How many want to go to the next uh, topic? I I want to go to next topic. Okay, please guys respond according to your. Uh, requirement only I can say. I think we can go to next topic. Okay. Only two people are saying. What about the rest people opinion? Okay, next yeah, please go ahead. Okay. See here uh, we have planned for six weeks and the last week I told it will be like interviews and uh, vendor uh, related things and your resume corrections or these kind of things i can uh, i can go with for every topic uh, two three examples so main work what your people has to do is like today i told about yesterday i told about data types so you should try uh, google it uh, examples on data types no problem if you see and type also one program you see and type. The next program you will know how the notations to be done. See now console dot write line. It is taking means we are giving the value from the terminal we are giving. Then how this to be indicated inside the right line. So these all things some notations are like that only we can logic we can change in the programming. Uh, the logic we can change, but these kind of notations you should memorize. You should remember. You should get used to them, right? Is yeah, it yeah. Into or not? So if you yeah. if you see in Google and you type and practice, also no issues. One and two, one or two programs. The third program you should know how to notate it, how to indicate it, how to declare it. Yeah. Then only you'll come to know. Uh, you'll understand. Suddenly, uh, uh, if you see something, you, you you don't get scared. If you see the big uh, program yeah. between the projects. Yeah. So yesterday, till now, I have discussed some uh, some topics. So in every topic, you you should take one example and you should try. Yeah. No one asked for interview questions at all after the class. No one at least texted me. And even I told that if you don't ask me why I'll take the stress, and why I will uh, want to send you taking my extra time for that. No one texted me. Yeah, actually, it's not 
like we don't want to ask but actually we were little busy in uh, 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 trimming i mean trimming our resume and doing uh, some other things so that's why we forgot to ask you that shows what kind uh, of interest sometimes you know akil I yeah, know yeah. you are busy. We, have, uh, to we are very things. interested to listen the class, but unfortunately, you know, we forgot it. That's it. Take one minute. We are uh, apologies for that. Yeah, yeah, we apologize. Okay. And next time, we'll seriously uh, try to. See, even I have this uh, small topics program uh, programming also. I have yeah. examples. Now, yeah. really, I thought I thought of uh, telling you in the starting of the class. that for every small topic also i will tell i will tell uh, like like homework write yeah. the console application for uh, student requirement like student id student name i thought of telling this exam uh, like homework but yeah. uh, without showing any interest why i take that stress of uh, telling all that examples yeah. i am now i am telling you to google it no, normally i have that uh, examples yeah in so, my uh, in my word yeah in my excel sheet share share them if you don't mind because uh, we were really not uh, i mean we are uh, really apologize for that and we'll try to keep it short next time i have a diff uh, i have different uh, booklet for only programming uh, questions yeah. and with the, for every topic one example and the, for other uh, questions will be there but answers will not be there uh, for your level of trying so if you show interest then i can put interest and go and uh, see that back notes which i have shared for some other people there are btech yeah. students who took so i i took for all topic one one example like this small examples then yeah. only the bigger one you will not be scared right yeah is it correct yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that's the best approach here yeah. okay next topic is type casting yeah i have a small doubt niharika gar so why is yeah. it showing like uh, here uh, some kind of uh, line some kind of here in my screen uh, here string s equals to console dot read line so under the console dot read line it is showing one there are kind of thing but uh, i don't know what is it is it's showing um, the string the string i will accept all the null values only right so it yeah. is showing whether it is uh, convertible or to it. it is not a warning for you okay it okay. is showing the information okay okay yeah okay okay thank you so if you have uh, if you go to fix it will show like if it is uh, you are able to run the program yeah yeah someone might not to... use it the concatenation or uh, not given the right um, value in the terminal yeah. then they will go for uh, potential fix yeah okay 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 so should i stop, stop? yeah yeah stop so okay wait okay. so type casting uh, is a process of converting data from one data type to another data type when we will go for this type casting whenever we want to assign one data type value into another data type variables we will go for type casting so uh, like one data type to another data type you want to change you have indicated a integer value 10 int a equals to 10 or int x equals to 20 like that you have indicated and you want to change it to float you want to change it to um, string then this uh, boolean we cannot change again boolean is boolean only okay so if you want to change uh, from one data type to another data type variable then we'll go for type casting 
So what is type casting? It is a converting of one data type to another data type. So there are two ways of type casting. Uh, C sharp dot net will support. It is implicit type casting and explicit type casting. Okay. Uh, yeah. During the data types, we have talked about the uh, size, uh, sizes of the data types and uh, how much bit it will uh, take. Uh, see, for example, you have 10 apple, uh, 10 apples box and you are trying to fix the 11th apple. Will it? Will it fix? No. It uh, uh, the cupboard will uh, tear off and uh, all the apples will be down for. Yeah. So particular size is there. Uh, we have discussed uh, base type sizes, uh, type of uh, like size of and all this will uh, denote how much uh, size it is occupied. So according to that, we can able to convert. So what I'm telling is like you have the S byte. Um, S byte, uh, two short, int, long, float, double, decimal, you can fit. Means S byte, how many bits? Tell me. S byte. Eight. Eight. How are word short? Sixteen. Thirty-two. Sorry, thirty-two. Yeah. So eight. A uh, eight number will be in 32, isn't right? Yeah. yeah. Means eighth apple is already there in 32 apples. It is already fixed. Means you you can uh, see 32 size apple box is there. And you want to keep uh, the eight apples in 32 box. It will fit, right? The same way conversion from S byte S byte can be converted to short, int, long, float, double, decimal. So short is only with 16. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm worried about this, uh, telling about the conversion. Yeah, it is 16. Who told 32? It's me. Yeah. I wish now only like uh, I said 32, but I realized it's 16 only. Like, so I'm sorry. I'm telling like uh, S byte from from which data type to which data type we can convert. Smaller to S byte to short, short to int, int to long. But yeah. we can't. Uh, we cannot uh, convert the long to int. Yes, you are right. So according to the sizes that we can convert. Convert, right. I'll share, I'll share the uh, table for you in the chat so that you don't, uh, uh, don't, don't uh, fix your mind for this. Anyway, if you, if you try the opposite way also, it will show the error. Yeah. And then it's important to remember the sizes. I thought of asking the questions, but the time is running, you know. As per plan, we have to count it. But one, one day tomorrow, or uh, I'll ask the questions on sizes. People are not remembering yeah. anything. Just going like that. Can anyone, uh, everyone can see? Yeah, we are able to see. Yeah, we are able yes. to see. What you're seeing? The table. <laughs> okay. Some tools is byte. Byte short, U short, uh, int, U int. Yeah. Long. Please take two minutes of time to clearly see, to clearly understand what I said. Take two minutes. It's very important. 
for smaller thing you should not get an error bigger things you get error you, if you if you spend uh, time no issues for this basics you don't know where you want to fix and spending time it's not good so take 2 minutes exactly from now and then we can go see the table only 2 minutes uh, water bottle table no other things don't go anywhere Thank <laughs> you. Anyway, started with the marketing. We are vendor call started. Yeah. yeah, we all are in, we all are in the mid of the marketing. Okay, how is the market getting the vendor calls? Yeah, we are getting some. Today, today. Is there screening going on with the vendor? We are also attending the client calls, client client interviews. Oh. Hmm. 
Don't mess up with big vendors. Once the profile is blocked, it is blocked. Yeah. Like K force. There will be some other thing also. It will start with the T. He'll uh, give Lope softwares, but so many position will open. I don't know. Yeah. Tech systems. Yeah, tech system. Yeah. Once you mess up with this uh, tech system or K force, like after going into the project and firing or coming back, they'll keep that uh, feedback for years. Again, if you fire, after getting your H1 and getting good experience also in work, uh, if the position is open with the tech system or K-Force, they still uh, have that data in their database and they'll say for in so and so year, you are backfired uh, within one month. So I cannot submit uh, your profile to this position, they'll say. Okay, uh, everyone can see Notepad? Yeah. On this uh, examples uh, from me to give. Yes, please. Program examples. Yeah, yes. So as we seen uh, the table, uh, similar way from one to one step, I have uh, all the examples for implicit type casting. So I will uh, post that for you. And uh, telling about explicit type casting, whatever it is not supported now, so explicitly uh, it should be given. It is, it is very important uh, to talk about explicit type casting means everything, whatever you are seeing now, uh, the explicit, implicit, uh, the table and the example, which is in the notepad, so it is convertible. So some of the things that um, inside the smaller, 
you want to you, you want to fit a bigger size uh, data type then what happens then how you will manage how that notations will go how the declarations will happen so whenever we are assign care value into a numerical value or floating uh, point data types which is storing the particular care value in uh, ASIC, ASIC value, ASIC value, which is a OS related one. So the explicit type casting will be implemented by using three techniques, parsing, converting, boxing, and unboxing. Mostly this parsing, uh, like boxing and unboxing are the questions that usually comes, right? During the uh, what is boxing? What is unboxing in C sharp? Uh, this question will uh, for sure one or the other interviews will be asked. So implicit typecasting, everyone has written the notes. Tomorrow I'll start the explicit typecasting because it has three techniques and should go uh, like a bit in a clear way. Yeah, okay. So can so, you please explain once uh, this example of why, how did we get this 97, 97? 9 okay okay sure i think the values the uh, somewhere like output uh, it with the if you try to run this one in the values will be asked from the uh, from the terminal actually yeah. uh, okay okay so you are giving that values yeah okay got it. I'll send I'll send the programs one to one step. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And also can you please share the document that you said earlier? Which one? The one which you had all that like the programming question and answers. Okay, okay. That I will share. Today I will yeah. share. If okay. you ask only, I will share. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'll ask. <laughs> Not here. After the class, everything gone. Gone case. No, no, no. After the class also, we'll keep you posted. Uh, text me uh, in group or uh, message. Okay, sure. Thank you. Then only. Then I will also forget. I also got some work, Akil. <laughs> Not vendor calls, but some <laughs> other calls. Okay, okay. That's fine. I will remind you. Okay. Now, uh, now, last five minutes is there for the class four minutes so questions are you ready i gave i i gave a word document from that only i'll ask okay hope everyone seen the word document expecting it from you at least one read one read people gave yeah don't yeah. open yeah, the yeah. Word, word document now Opening, someone smiling. No one is someone smiling. Is, we are ready. Someone is giving pretty smile. Okay, I'll start with Akil only first. <laughs> He's very excited with notes. Is it yeah. real or not? We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Akil, tell me about the execution process. How it will happen in .NET application? The execution process. How it uh, how it will take care. Execution process. Mm. Yeah. So in the execution process, we have mainly the source code, which will be initially converted into the MSIL by the language compiler. Mm -hmm. And uh, then from the MSIL, it will be converted into the native code. Oh, sorry, sorry. Before the native code, it will be undergoing the ZIT compiler. 
then finally it will go into the native code what is jit fuel for just in time it means within no time it will be converted yeah, from yeah. microsoft intermediate yeah language yeah okay next is krishna yeah what is msil code like it's a microsoft intermediate language i gave notes krishna just you told abbreviation uh like it's a uh, native code right like uh, convert it tell me you are you are trying to tell uh, correct only tell me yeah uh, msl uh, converts sorry what msl does yeah like uh, msl uh, uh, converts the uh, normal like uh, c sharp code or anything to uh, jit comp uh, like uh, native code right like it converts to jit okay please uh, read once again uh, the document it is at the run time you have to say when installed yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. like at the run time yeah. while the run time the conversion to the machine code so machine code is a native code which is handled by the jit compiler okay yeah yeah <clears throat> try to read once again next surya there yes ma'am yes, ma okay um, what is the latest version that um, we are using in dot net framework currently dot net core 7.0 and not core just framework mostly okay pi uh, i think 6.0 currently we are using 7 will be coming next year and that 6.0 have been converted into dot net core depending on the requirements okay. we are doing migration projects in real world <clears throat> okay okay five already taken okay gone okay, okay another question uh, for you yeah tell me about uh, gc Sorry. Sorry. GC. GC. What is GC? Yeah. Did you get the document, Krishna? Yeah. You did not send the document to Surya. Yeah. But, uh, I sent Dharma. Surya. What Surya? Dharma is correct, right? right? You are you are not sure whether it is garbage collector or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, garbage collector. <laughs> just abbreviation i am not asking what it does gc like uh, freeing up the memory uh, occupied by the objects uh, that we don't use and then hmm. relieving the manual memory i am not just uh, telling from the document i received i just uh, i just had an overview on it like seeing the basic basic uh, basic not needed surya next time onwards please see the document and remember it has two duties to do one is allocating the memory as you told one is deallocating the memory that is very important okay yeah yeah, yeah. please uh, follow the document okay okay <clears throat> sumanth yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are the managed code and what are the unmanaged code managed code managed code means which which uh, which takes the help of clr for uh, execution example like the programming languages hmm. 
like a c sharp which we are currently learning c sharp vb.net okay yeah and what about unmanaged uh this is opposite which is not uh, taking the help of clr for execution which is which is called as unmanaged dotnet code. application can contain non uh, .net code yes yes okay next shiva are you there shiva not responding friends next to him is he there or hello oh. shiva only yeah 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 my microphone was what on. is okay what is cls uh cls is a common language specification Hmm. Uh, it is like a standard. It is a common language standard defined by uh, Microsoft for uh, .NET language. Uh, the CLS. Uh, generally, the program lang programming language uh, recognizes the .NET language and. Uh, as it has to follow the CLS. Okay. Okay, who is left in this team? Madhu? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, so many times I say, okay. So active. One second, Madhu. Tell me the data types. What are the primitive data types in C sharp? Um, like a float. Uh, what are the primitive data types we have? How many? We have like five data types. Okay. Um, uh, numerical data types, floating data types, and character uh, related logical data, data types. types. And general mm. data types. Mm. Um, yeah. And well, how many are the numerical data types? How many types? Like a uh, uh, int, short, long, and byte. Not seeing the notes. Not so reading. Two, two types of uh, uh, numerical data types signed mm. numerical data types and unsigned numerical data types. While unsigned numerical data types are byte, uh, sh sh in short, and int, and long. Which will support positive and which will support both? Um, int, short, and long, these are support supports positive. And uh, the other one, uh, byte, they, they support negative. For one is positive, one is negative. Is it correct, anyone, guys? Please answer. No. Mm, please tell me. Like, send data types allows uh, positive values and the negative values as well. But uh, unsigned values only allows only the positive values. Mother, did you get it? Yes. No. See everyone, uh, I can see everyone is not going through the document. I seriously request everyone to has not just uh, seeing that I got the document, I got the interview questions. If you read only, it is helpful. Keeping in the Gmail accounts, uh, just downloading and keeping in the download folder, it will not help you anyway. And also if I ask any anything about CLS or C, CTS or uh, anything about MSIL, why just telling the abbreviation? Are you uh, are you questioning writtenly to the client or the vendor? You have to tell in such a way that they should get, they should they should feel that you are confident and knowledgeable enough. Even vendor knows what is CLS. The abbreviation they can also see Google it. What is CLS? If they type, they will get first abbreviation only. If once the question is asked, it should be a point of answering at least in two lines so that they will not ask you the real-time questions 
and you will not be very panicked and i am asking uh, about the data types just uh, telling int long you have to tell it clearly na there are five types and uh, according to the numerical data types there are two types you don't know when to assign positive when to assign negative without this how please read the document don't just say the abbreviation for next time when i ask at least if a question is asked at least two sentence has to be spoken by you or else they will they'll definitely go for another level of questions to test you whether these people are ha having the if you answer a, if you uh, if you answer a question they should feel that okay he is knowledgeable in so and so topic we can jump and ask in another questions they should feel the vendor in first only the basic question if you lag like this uh, they will screw you means uh, okay this is fair this is not the real guy having experience they'll screw you asking you this uh, up and down like tcs people even white vendors will come to know if you answer in this way please read the document okay thank you all okay thank you bye